honestly, if I was a broken man, if I wasn't actually cheerful, I, I do think the world would go to war for me. Just like that Archduke Ferdinand. If they really took out Jack Michelson, Michael Cousy, if I was really not very happy and if I was really no longer neutral, uh, the world couldn't handle it. Because I don't know what the world knows, but uh, they know I'm fucking single. And do you people have social lives? And you don't invite me? What, what's it going to take? The world wonders. And then when can I leave Washington State? Because I'd like to go hang out with my friends who are all outside Washington State. And then uh, maybe we should just move to Jefferson. I don't know. But when that woman called 911 dispatch and told lies, it set things in motion. I'm okay. Oh, are you guys sad? Oh, oh, you miss Mark? Oh, well, that's too bad. Oh, do you have running water? Okay, good. Jack Austin, astronaut. Exposed to inappropriate levels of solar energy. Sunlight makes him the world's smartest man. I know everything! I want that brain taken out. Heat Vision, the motorcycle with the mind of Jack's unemployed roommate. Together they run for their lives, blocked at every turn by adventure. Now let's just power for real. Hey, it's Jack. I'm a star. I'm outside of a Denny's. Uh, in high school, I, I, I said that my fate would be to have key lime pie and orange spice tea with lemon at a Denny's. But I didn't, I didn't say the whole story. It was that uh, I was going to have that key lime pie and orange spice tea after annihilating my enemies. And that's exactly what happened. It's uh, Christmas two years later you, you might be wondering how, how Jackstar is doing I, I'm I'm doing pretty good uh, but not quite as good as weed have you heard of weed because it's fucking amazing uh, I was looking forward to weed being uh, made you know legal and uh, then I got in a car crash and you might think that was probably a coincidence, but uh, it turns out it wasn't. And you might think that uh, insurance takes care of such things, but it doesn't really. I was supposed to be uh, crippled and unhappy. And I was. And that was ten fucking years ago. And since then, I haven't had nearly enough sex and drugs. Meanwhile, other people have. Uh... A lot of it on uh, public money, which uh, I don't know about you, but there's the occasional comptroller and ombudsman that, that gets kind of kind of salty about that kind of shit. When when public money is used for debauchery, it, it, it makes the thin blue line looks bad. Right? And then, you know, you don't want to talk about that in public because that it's pretty thin, that blue line. It's, it's really thin. So I'm not going to talk about what I know. Much. And when I do, it's going to be uh, mostly making fun of uh, uh, women who have jilted me. Mostly. Mostly. I don't know. I might, I might throw in the occasional jarhead just for color, but it turns out I, I like Marines. And I, I know why they're called jarheads. And I could probably make a joke about that. Maybe. Maybe. And not get killed. Maybe. I don't have a license for that, though, right? So I'm not going to overindulge in my First Amendment privilege. But when it makes uh, jokes about the Holocaust, I get to do those. I got permission. Crazy world, isn't it? I remember it was, uh, was it sixth grade? The sixth, gra sixth grade was the first time somebody accused me of being a, uh, a Hitler lover. And it was so weird. I couldn't figure out, like, why that was even a thing well it turns out my father when he was uh, in Hungary uh, I guess he signed up with Hitler Youth or, or he thought Hitler was cool or some shit 
uh, I'm, I'm not sure if he actually did, because Hitler was kind of an idiot. I mean, he, he read all those speeches that were written in English and then translated to German, and then he gave them, I don't know if they put magic on or whatever, but let's face it, he, he, he sort of lost the war. He had to run to New Schwabenland, whatever the fuck happened. Uh, it wasn't the glorious Fourth Reich, was it? No, it was uh, some fucked off clandestine bullshit with dudes having fucking group sex parties and launching rockets in the desert, right? What a joke. Be that as it may, um, it seems strange that I've been relegated to this life of celibacy. Like, why am I here at a Denny's? About to, I'm about to eat by myself. Hi, Jack Michelson. I got money in the bank. I got a truck that sort of runs. I'm at a Denny's. It's uh, December 17th. Why, why am I alone? Huh. It seems kind of weird, huh? Well, you know, it is kind of weird, actually. And I'm not going to tell you why. For a lot of reasons. For one thing, I don't want to gloat. I really don't. I'm, I'm kind of humble. Kind of. I'm smoking a cigarette. It's really the only reason why I'm talking to you fucking people. Because I got a cigarette to burn. I'm going to go into the Denny's, and I can't smoke in there. Right? And hopefully the uh, ashtray won't be filled with vomit when I walk in. <sighs> I got a history with Denny's. Anyway, I, I would love to be doing more content, but, but I can't yet for reasons which will probably be one day apparent to you, but right now you're probably just wondering why the world is this cold, lonely, unfucked off mess. Like, why is everything all fucked up? Um, I, I can't tell you that. I, I can tell you that it's going to get better. Especially if that is a redhead that just honked at me. Probably not. Uh, don't, ha don't have any redheads. Don't have any, uh, don't have any heads. Don't have any head. Yeah. Weird, huh? It's weird how these things matter to people. And then, I have been doing the best I can to keep it from getting worse. And my reward has been no sex in a house with no running water during a time of war on military jurisdiction, Native American burial and battleground, and somebody decided to sabotage the water well. Now, this is an actual war crime, and that may not mean much to you, but over in The Hague, fuck it matters, right? And then all, all the dudes who are like, oh, Cruzy doesn't have water, he needs to clean up his garbage, blah, 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 blah. all these fucking punylings, seriously, who are all sweating my shit, thinking I've got it easy. They're having plenty of sex and drugs. Or maybe they're not. I don't know. Are, are, are the ladies not as much fun to be around now? I don't fucking know. They don't talk to me. Um, largely because they're all burnt out from all these fucking mind control drugs. You know, the side effect of, of abusing those, it turns women into uh, man-hating lesbians. Did you know that? Yeah, if you use these things without permission and you use them the wrong way and you use them too much, that girl you like, uh, she starts uh, craving box munching. And doesn't want to suck your cock anymore. You know, it didn't used to work that way. It used to be at fraternities, they'd have the special stuff that didn't do that. I guess it doesn't work anymore. It's, it's so bizarre. Y you would think that the laws of chemistry just would stay the same. So that uh, spooks and gooks and troops and troons or whatever the fuck, they would just keep on uh, abusing people with chemistry. Turns out God isn't like that. Um, I'm, I'm not abusing chemistry. I'm also not an alcoholic. I don't, uh, I don't cope to drink. Um, I did accidentally break the femur of a man named David once. I didn't mean to. We were just, we were just messing around, and I accidentally broke his leg. Um, I don't think that's the Dave you're thinking of. Turns out I've known a lot of, a lot of Daves. And um, somebody that you might think I'm mad at, I'm not mad at him. I'm not mad at anybody. I'm still alive. That woman I was knocking boots with for five years, I'm pretty sure she's still alive. And she's nowhere near me. And no matter how much sex she has, she just can't seem to make me jealous. Damn. Hmm. Well, maybe another four years of separation. What do you think? How would you like your life the way it is now to go on for another four years the way it is? How about 12 years? For me, it's been 12 years. I've been in this fucked off mess for 12 fucking years. 
I'm not having lots of sex. I'm not, having, I'm not having lots of drugs. I'm not having nothing except 12 years of service to a higher ideal. And now I'm about to go into Denny's and probably not have key lime pie. I might have tea. I don't know. I like coffee. Um, funny thing about my house with the no water and the overflowing toilet. You can't have coffee there because there's no water because they sabotage the water filters and then when I got back to the house it was filled with black mold and then they expected me to clean it up and then try and have a party because that's what they would have done that's what sex and drug addicts do they don't care about how filthy it is they just want to have sex and drugs so uh, since I'm not a sex and drug addict that house is still the same as it was two years ago um I don't know what they thought they were going to do with it, but uh, turning it into a whorehouse for my girlfriend from high school didn't, didn't happen. And I don't know where she is. That's okay. Maybe they got away. Uh, I don't know. Maybe they're buried in a shallow grave somewhere. Fucking, I don't have no fucking clue. But I'm definitely not trying to contact them because the last person I want to contact is uh, a totally fucked off lesbian who doesn't want anything to do with me. I don't even want to conquer a lesbian, right? That's, uh, that's a control drama that didn't take with me. I'm not, uh, I'm not into control. I'm into personal self-discipline. Uh, you, sh- you all should try it sometime. When you're, when you're done, uh, you know, detoxing off those fucking chemicals you've been abusing for years. Oh, did I mention I- I'm, I'm immune to addiction? Did I mention that? Yeah, it's a little thing I figured out how to do. And, and no, I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna teach it to you. Are you are you filled with cr- cravings for shit that you can't uh, get away from? Well, that, that's too bad. That's uh, probably a curse that's been put upon you by your God and Maker. I don't fucking know. I do know that I'm smoking cigarettes not because I uh, not because I have to. Uh, it's because some somebody authorized somebody else to steal three of my nicotine vapors. Three of them have been stolen. Or I guess confiscated. Or I guess uh, held for evidence. I don't know, whatever they call it. The thing that makes it so that dudes with guns and badges can take things from people like me and then hide them. Like my Google Pixel 6. Gosh, where's that phone? Where do you think that phone went? Um, I have no idea. I I don't have access to those phone records. I didn't hire a private detective. I didn't hire a lawyer. I, I just prayed to God to make it all right. And amazingly for me, at this moment, it's, it's all right. I'm talking to you now on a Google, Google Pixel 6 Sub A. It's the sub phone. The master phone is somewhere in the world. And if I had access to, you know, surveillance gear, or if I had a friend on the force, or I could call somebody up and go around, go through channels or whatever, do back channel diplomacy, all that shit. If, if I found out where that phone was, um, I'm pretty sure I know where to find somebody surrounded by women who don't want to have sex with them and there's no drugs to be had to make them pliable gosh must be hell for them huh I don't need to know who that is I don't care who it is but I do know they're probably not going to fuck with the Hungarian again Jesus okay so that's been 12 minutes with Jackstar I'll publish this later I still get to publish um I didn't name any names here, so I'm probably not going to be civilly liable. That whole civil liability thing is kind of a big deal. Um, those people are going to get their money, and I'm not going to I'm not going to worry about it because I don't care about money. I don't care about drugs. I care about my country. I care about my God, and I care about my Creator. And um, <clears throat> I also care about getting a hug. All right. Now, I don't know how many of you out there listening desperately want to hug me and then can't, but don't stab your pimp in the leg. Go for, go for, the, go for the liver if you're going to be stabbing pimps. They probably only have one. I don't know. I'm not suggesting that you stab your pimp, but if your pimp is telling you not to talk to Michael Jackson or Jack Michelson or Michael Cousy, whatever, whatever you're calling me these days, if you want to talk to me and you got a guy hanging around or a, a, a woman... I haven't seen many female pimps. Usually it's, it's those thuggish brutes, right? They, they think they own a woman, 
they, they have children and they think they're going to mold them into little versions of themselves. You know, those, those, those dudes, they call them chads. <laughs> yeah, Chad and Chud. You know, Cannibalistic Humanoid Underground Dweller was a movie from the 80s, or maybe the 70s. And that's where Chud comes from. Um, I think the whole Chad Chud thing is kind of overrated. And then I'm not, I'm not worried about getting any woman. I'm looking for one in particular. And none of you get to know who that is. That information is for closers. Okay, now don't anybody get too excited. <coughs> I just smoked some weed. Uh, have you heard of weed? Because it's fucking amazing. But more to the point, uh, I can't guarantee the accuracy or the veracity of anything I'm about to tell you. 
And if I just so happen to be 100% truthful, um, it's really just slop. It doesn't count for anything. Like if you're playing nine ball and you sink all nine balls on the first uh, crack, well, that's just slop. That doesn't count, and especially if you're playing for money. And a lot of people are playing for money. Um, I'm not. I'm also not playing, okay? It's been nearly two fucking years. Not only have I not gotten an apology, I've gotten dudes doubling down on taking me out. As recently as three weeks ago, there was some dude on YouTube calling Michael Cousy a pedophile. Like, he was launching into the whole fucking speech. I guess he was reading from an old playbook. I guess he was a robot that had gotten bad instructions. Or I guess he was some fucking thuggy fraternity dude who thought it was still open season on fat Hungarian kids. Nah, 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 dude. No. You piss me off, you get the fucking rough side of Michael Cousy for the next three, four weeks. No one's really sure how long a, a raging ox will stampede. But I can tell you this. Uh, no, nobody decides to get me to stop. I just run out of steam and then I'm calm again, right? And then nobody's really... Number one, upset about that because turns out having a stampeding ox is pretty handy for defending your country. And then number two, I'm a loyal American. I'm not leaving the country to start shit. I'm not trying to entice women to come to America. I'm not trying to influence the, the mating habits of, of the American populace. I'm not trying to influence anybody's mating habits. I got two friends of mine. They're both avowed dictators. That's fine with me. I don't need to. I don't need to convince them of the superiority of the dick. They can be lesbians all they want. They can be totes les. They can be lesbos. Not my concern. I'm a diplomat. I have made peace with those two groups. Now, now, now those two groups are understandably pissed at at whoever it is that fucked up their plans. I guess they had some sort of weird woman plan for doing something, right? And they're a little miffed that all it took was one Hungarian to fucking accomplish all their goals and then leave them with a huge mess to clean up. That's generally the way it works with women and men. Like the man goes into the kitchen, he, he, he makes one sausage, and then he fucking f makes the kitchen filthy for 12 days. He doesn't think about cleaning it up. I saw this with my father. My father would bring over his friends. He used to have friends. And they would drink, and they would talk shit in Hungarian, of course. And they would make a big mess, and then they would expect my mother to clean it up. And, and they thought they were justified in doing this for reasons I won't get into, but let's put it this way. Uh, my mother was a, kind of a pain in the ass, too. And I remember... They, were, they had been married like 45 years when I said to my mother, Mom, why didn't you just divorce him? And she laughed, right? Because she knew that I didn't know the whole story. I don't know the whole story about my parents, but they had a whole life together before I showed up, right? And then when I showed up, uh, apparently people expected something different than a kid who wants to get laid and take drugs. What a surprise. I'm smart. Hey, getting laid, that's, that's good. Taking drugs is good, too. Oh, 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 yeah, there's there's hazards, uh, you know, addiction, prison, health. Uh, it turns out when you're smart, um, there's ways around all of those problems. And when you're born in the greatest country ever, the United States of America, when you're a citizen and you know how to, you know, be one and you can read, turns out there's a lot of legal ways to do a lot of shit. Yeah, that's why I'm here in my truck calmly, happily. Recording for you, another five minutes with Jackstar, which I haven't been really allowed to do. Uh, I'm not going to sue anybody for that, because the real reason why I'm not publishing everything that I think every fucking day, it's because I'm embarrassed. I'm embarrassed with some of, some of you. I'm not going to call names. Some of you have been very bad citizens, very bad. And then others of you uh, have been even worse citizens, and then some of you took public monies and then hired mercenaries to fuck with me up. Like, this doesn't look good. It looks bad doesn't look bad on me it makes me look like a fucking star player because apparently a bunch of dudes thought it'd be a good idea to defraud the american people to put out a hit on a guy who had enough trouble getting laid anyway in order to keep me from getting laid um i don't, I don't know why other than you're all a bunch of fucking stupid fucking drugged out regular i don't i don't know who came up with this fucking plan i don't need to know i have no need to know this information but there are ombudsmen and there are accountants. They're going to fucking drag people's asses to Capitol Hill. It's going to be bigger than fucking Iran Contra. It's going to be bigger than the fucking Teapot Dome scandal. I bet most of you fucking losers don't even know about the Teapot Dome scandal. Do you? Do you? Well, maybe you do. I don't know. Pretty much anybody who knows any history at all uh, 
they've been staying out of my way. I, I don't know what they were thinking when they saw who I was dating seven years ago, uh, but everybody knew. Um, I didn't know the whole story, and, and neither did they. But they knew there was going to be some sort of fireworks. That's why I'm not mad at people like um, that one cashier and, and that other cashier. I'm not mad at them at all. And then I'm not mad at uh, the family. Uh, they were apparently ordered by DEA not to tell me the truth, which, believe me, made Thanksgiving fucking awkward. Um, I'm going to say DEA, but it probably wasn't just DEA. I guess somebody sold out the country to Turkish nationals or some shit. I don't know. Um, <clears throat> so somebody betrayed their country, and then we almost lost the republic. And then uh, I uh, saved it for you. Because I happen to like living in a republic, okay? And uh, never let it be said that one person can't save the fucking country. Because it's happened before. It might happen again. And this time, it was me. Michael Clifford Cousy saved your asses, your bacon, your whole fucking frying pan. Kept that thing out of the drink. So. <clears throat> hey, ladies. Uh, I need a bath. I need a pedicure. You got any uh, suggestions? You don't have to do it for me. I'm not trying to make a solicitation. I'm just wondering, do you know a safe place where a guy like me could get a pedicure and not, like, number one, feel like a fag, number two, uh, make anybody embarrassed, and then number three, not have every hapa between here and Taiwan fucking load me up with fucking eight by ten glossies for me to sign? Because apparently, uh, well, let's just say I'm getting popular. Right. Um, turns out saving the country. Uh, I guess I guess chicks dig that, you know, um, kind of like the opposite of Benedict Arnold. Like, imagine if he had actually not been a fucking, I don't know, a dandy for the queen. And imagine he had taken his money and he had actually bankrolled the revolution. Right. Well, Benedict Arnold was the guy who bankrolled the other direction and they fucking hung him. And uh, not many people know the exact reasons for that. Uh, I happen to do, because they assigned me Benedict Arnold as the guy I was supposed to do a report on in fifth grade, and they assigned me LBJ. Uh, what year was that? That was seventh grade. Oddly enough, I, I don't give much of a shit about JFK, but my mother loved him, and she was so sad when she found out that the reason why they killed him is because JFK was an asshole, and the reason why they got away with it is because half the country knew it, and so she was kind of heartbroken about that. Anyway, she's dead now. Um, <clears throat> so I, I, I have only on faith to go by. But I'm pretty sure my mother's in heaven real fucking happy. Because in addition to saving the Republic, I scattered those fuckers to the four winds. They're still fucking recovering. It's going to be another three months. I, I went to court and, and they got a continuance. Oh, it's amazing. Wow. Another continuance. Huh. Well, that's cool. I mean, I'm, I'm in no hurry. Uh, no, no, no hurry at all. Take your time. Yeah, it's going to be about another 25 to 30 years before I calm down. Um, can you tell I'm irate? Probably not. I mean, I've learned to manage myself, right? Unlike some people who uh, apparently take public monies and they throw it at hitmen thinking that's going to solve the problems. Huh. 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 Yeah. I don't know what their problems are, but uh, yeah, they were going to kill me. Damn. And here I am still alive. Fuck. Isn't that embarrassing? Yeah. Now I'm going to publish my podcast too on YouTube. So, uh, sorry. Why, why, don't you, why don't you send out one of those cease and desists? What? Here's a better idea. Why don't you hire a lawyer? There you go. I don't know who you are who's upset about me, but somebody is. Yeah. And I have no reason to know who they are. And they're still fucked. That's Hungarian justice. <laughs>